Hi, my name is Anna Lingerfell. I'm the librarian at Jackson Davis Elementary School, and I'm going to talk to you guys today about the choice board for library, the book spine poetry. Um, I'll be reading you the slide word for word, and then I'm going to show you a few examples of book spine poetry. April is school poetry month, and we decided to continue the celebration into May. Library, book spine, poetry, learning target. I can create my own found poems using book spines as inspiration. Book spine poetry is a type of found poetry. Step one, choose at least three books with interesting titles. Step two, rearrange the books from top to bottom until they make sense. Step three, feel free to swap out books until you like the sound of your poem. Step four, enjoy and share with your family and class. The HLP connection for this activity is communication, critical thinking, and creative thinking. So I made two examples. The first one I used some children's books. As I was looking through the spines of these books, Good Night just kind of called out to me and I read a lot of nighttime books to my children. So these are toddler books, they're board books. So it doesn't have to be something you're reading. You can look at your family, your adults um, books, you can look at your younger siblings or your older siblings books. So pull out anything that just kind of calls to you. So here's my Good Night poem. It's time to sleep my love, snuggle puppy. Good night moon, night night little pookie. So I just kind of played with these until I liked the sound of it from the top to the bottom. The next example I have is a book poem all about spring. I used some children's books and some adult books and some uh, middle grade readers just like what you guys read. The Night Gardener and then it's spring. All the colors of magic, wonder, the incredible magic of being so for this one, I saw all the colors of magic and immediately it reminded me of everything that's blooming outside right now. And so then when I had that idea, I started to look on my shelf for other books that could be used in a poem about spring. So have fun with this, rearrange them, see what you guys can create. And I know that your librarian and your teacher would love to see what you made. Hope you have fun.